Today we're going to be doing the glue test. Now this test is a little bit different than the traditional glue test. I'm actually seeing which glue is the best one to make slime. Now this will require that you use the main ingredient that makes the best slime which happens to be liquid starch. So if you don't have liquid starch, you can use detergent or anything else. I have a whole bunch of videos um, that I'm showing you guys how to make slime without those ingredients. But this one, I am not showing you guys a new way to make slime. I'm actually just testing out the glue. So liquid starch is my choice because I feel like it's the best thing ever. And let's just go with that, okay? So I went ahead and added a little bit more glitter and you guys might think that there's paint in this but there's no paint at all, it's just all glitter. And because it's a clear glue, sometimes like whatever you put in the clear glue will show up and that's one of the things that I love about using clear glue to make slime because it shows up all the things that you add to it, especially when you add a lot of colors and I feel like it came out super pretty. Another thing I noticed is that it stretches pretty far. It's something about the clear glue and the way it's made, but you can really stretch this very long before it actually breaks. The next glue that I'm testing is obviously the white glue that everyone else uses. And this one I feel like it's a little bit different in comparison with the clear glue. And the main difference is that when you add like certain colors inside of this glue, like if you add just glitter or if you add something that really doesn't show up very well, um, the white glue kind of eats up a little bit of the color. And you guys will see that in a second is that you won't see much of the color once you mix it and even the glitter so I think that the clear glue shows up better and the white glue kind of just gives you a more um, different look to it Okay, so I realized that you guys can't really see the glitter. I went ahead and added some darker glitter. This one is super pretty and I'm just kind of massaging it and trying to get all the glitter inside the glue and then roll it up like a glitter sandwich. That's, yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, anyway, so when you spread this glue out, you can only see a little bit of the glitter, which is really the main difference between this and the clear glue. And also I feel like it doesn't stretch as far before it actually breaks. The next thing I'm testing is fabric glue and a lot of people don't use this on YouTube but I wanted to, my curiosity told me to test it out just to see maybe it actually works. I mean you never know, you just never know. Things have surprised me in the past before so I went ahead and threw it in there and I don't know, it's just not looking good right now at this point. It's looking very runny and soupy. I would say Dia don't use fabric glue. But I still kind of want to try it one more time. Maybe it was my fault. Maybe I put too much liquid starch. So I went back and I added a tiny little drop of liquid starch and I decided to mix the two together. And still, it's just not really giving me slime. Like, I, sorry to say, this is just not working out. <music> Now the next one I'm using is Mod Podge. Everyone uses Mod Podge for all types of projects on YouTube, all types of DIY. So I said to myself, why not try to use it to make slime? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? So I went ahead and decided to stir this together. And it is just so disappointing. I mean, look at this stuff. Like this is looking terrible. It looks very milky and runny and it didn't work guys. It, it just did it. So the next thing I'm using is Gorilla Glue and before you guys make any judgment about this, I told you in the beginning of the video, don't try this at home, it's very dangerous. So just watch my video 
and I will tell you guys and I'll explain to you what happened with this Gorilla Glue. So as you can see, nothing is happening and you notice I'm not really touching the Gorilla Glue because I definitely don't want my hands to get stuck. And five minutes later, this Gorilla Glue turned into, I want to say pancake dough. I mean, I can't even, I can't even, I want to say it almost looked like bread, like some kind of doughy bread, whatever. Um, I can't even describe this right now, but it was so bizarre. Like, I never thought that this was going to happen. And I was really intrigued because I'm like, wow. Um, so that's what happens with Gorilla Glue and Liquid Starch. So I decided to touch it because I figured that it would be safe for me to touch it at this point because it has Liquid Starch already and maybe it's not that sticky. Bad idea, guys. Like, bad idea. Do not try this at home. Do not touch this with your bare hands. If you ever use Gorilla Glue in your life, use gloves because this stuff is so sticky. It is so not good to play around with and as you can see I did it again I just put my hands all over this thing and I regret it because look it took me two days to get the stuff off my hands and so after the incredibly horrible experience with the Gorilla Glue I had to test this E6000 and if you notice I cut the bottom open because the top got stuck and I tried to stir this up and in the beginning I felt like it does have a lot more potential so I was like oh well maybe this will actually become slime you just never know but then I realized that after I put in the glitter and stuff like that it just really reacted different um, I don't know what happened but it just became into pieces so I'm not really sure if this E6000 glue is the best way to make slime because it kind of just fell apart. The last thing I'm testing is the Elmer's glue and this you have to melt in the microwave first so I went ahead and did that and I added the liquid starch afterwards and then decided to mix the two together. This if I have to say what it reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of like melted candy a little bit and then when you add the glitter or anything else you want to do to make it look nicer it will become more like dry dough-ish so yeah I probably wouldn't advise you guys to add any kind too much glitter because it makes the texture kind of like dry cookie dough So after testing 7 different types of glue, I realized not all glue is made the same way. They have way different reactions to liquid starch. I would just go ahead and stick with the regular Elmer's glue. If I had to pick one, go with the clear one because it has a better payoff. So if you guys enjoyed this test, go ahead and check out some of my other test videos where you guys can learn how the other things react and stuff like that. And I think these are pretty interesting, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!